So you might have seen something going around Twitter this past week where somebody, not naming names, stated in all earnest that any tube depends almost solely on One Piece and will die when it ends. Now, I've never made a One Piece video, and a lot of the AnyTubers I follow have never made One Piece videos or made them all of once a couple years ago, so I'm not sure what he was going on about. But I've also never actually seen One Piece beyond the first, like, eight episodes, so I thought to see whether this guy was blowing smoke out of his ear, or just because I've never done a reaction video and it looked like fun, I'd risk the wrath of Toei and try it. So I asked my Twitter followers to pick a number between 1 and 875, the number of One Piece episodes there were at the time, and didn't say what it was for. With that, I'm going to watch all the episodes corresponding to the numbers they gave and give you some quick thoughts while also trying to figure out exactly what is going on in this show with no other context. With that, let's start out. Okay, first number I got was 7, episode 7. Hey, I remember this one with the clown guy. Okay, his power is to lose his body parts and he still controls them. This is amusing. I think I can see why this lady has a treasure fetish. Okay, she's the type of fan service character who tries to justify it by distracting her enemies. I mean, dude's drunk. I bet she could have beaten him without that. She's gonna lose all that treasure and have to come along with the crew, isn't she? Or they're gonna sell it to buy a ship. Maybe. I don't know. She's in the ED and the OP, so obviously she's gonna stick around. Clown Man starter villain being from the same crew as the Protag's mentor is going to either be completely forgotten or it'll get picked up by the plot in 300 episodes. Calling it now. Someone said 11, so a little after. I don't remember seeing these kids on merchandise or anything. Oh, they're not part of the crew. They're this guy's crew. This guy who's just running away. I think I know why he's upset. His crew is a bunch of six-year-olds. Okay, so this guy tells lies all the time and no one believes him, and Rich Girl used to really like it, but now he's doing the whole Boy Who Cried Wolf thing and she thinks he's on some revenge plot. Now, who tries to impress girls by talking about fish poop? Did generations of kids grow up on this show and try to do this to get dates? I don't think that's actually gonna work. Ever. So she broke up with him, probably should have done that before, and the heroes are the only ones who believe him. You know, I really hate when people go, I don't need your charity, especially when they do. Like, accept it, dude. 16 now. Wait, we're still on the same story arc? It's been five whole episodes! Okay, guy clear-cutting the forest with chakrams got his fashion sense out of JoJo's or something. How did he not see them? They were right there. This seems hazardous. Okay, so that's the point. Okay, I guess Luffy getting mad at worker exploitation is just going to be a theme in the show. I kind of like his blank stare whenever someone threatens him. Next one I got is 76, so we're jumping ahead. And I guess that guy joined the group. And now we're in a hybrid of a stock wax museum plot and mind control plot with paint. Ah, there's the outsmart your opponent bit. Love that in Shonen Battle series. This is fine. This is fine. I was going to comment about the wax house in the middle of the jungle, which is clearly not feasible for a number of reasons, but now the phone is a snail this dude found in a box, so this world is full Flintstones and I'm not allowed to complain about anything not making sense. Is this an ominous plot revelation? Seems like one. On to 176, and now we're in the sky with a priest who thinks he's saving the souls of the unworthy by killing people who show greed with some ordeal, and Luffy got eaten by a snake. At least I think that's what's going on. I mean, there's like five minutes worth of recaps in each episode. Look at their injuries, that's hilarious. I love that bird. So Nami's got this random child, wonder what's gonna... Oh! Next one is 413, and this one made a homestuck joke. Why did the snakes have boobs? Snakes are reptiles! The other giant snake didn't have boobs! Okay, so this place has some special power, same as that island with the other snake. I'm gonna guess they're related or something. This is so casual, it's glorious. I wonder if there's a reason the whole betraying your subordinates thing keeps coming up, like in his backstory and that's why you get so mad at it. Other than it's generally a douche move. I am sure I've seen this lady before. Must be an arc villain who got really popular or something. Okay, I think that is the exact same special power from before, just with a different name. Okay, I think that's enough. I didn't get anywhere near the current episodes, and I probably have no idea what actually happens in One Piece, but this was a pretty fun exercise. But hey, 
I'm beholden to my audience, so why don't you guys tell me what you thought of this experiment? Let me know in the comments. This is Secret Identity Studio, and I wonder how much of that was filler.